hello everyone and welcome to this new short video in this one i'm going to show you how you can use automatic mix precision from pytorch natively so pytorch 1.6 is going to have uh, uh, native support for automatic mix precision training and mix precision helps you in many different ways one of the things is your model will occupy less memory you so you can use larger batch sizes you can have faster training and uh, till now we have been using it using nvidia's apex but now since it's uh, inbuilt it's natively supported by pytorch we can try using that one and see if it brings any kind of improvement so uh, i i should make a much longer video on uh, amp but uh, um, i will probably if the time permits so you can you can read more about mixed precision training from this paper which is called mixed precision training and uh, uh, get to know more about it and in this one i'm going to show you how to use it so for just to start with we have already seen so this is the bird sentiment model that i'm using that i have trained uh, a long time ago so if you have not taken a look at it you can take a look at uh, this model uh, it's also in the description box so I've, i'm going to hide this line data parallel for now and then try to train the model so python train.py so i'm not changing anything in the model right now so let's see you let's see what happens so you can see that it's showing that the model is training and it's going to take around 32 minutes if we look at the memory consumption it's around 10 gigabytes of GPU memory 9,191 9, and um, so let me just stop it first and now we can try the mixed precision training and see what happens so to to use mixed precision there are a few steps it's it's not very difficult so you can you have to import from torch.cuda import amp which is automatic mix precision so when you used nvidia's apex you used to import from apex import amp and then you have to define the scalar before anything begins so that's your gradient scalar grad scalar and then pass it on to um the training function so let me just write it here scalar okay now we go to our training function and here um, when we are doing the forward pass so everything remains the same but when we are doing the forward pass we say like we have to use the context of auto casting so with amp dot autocast and here also you need to import so from torch.cuda import amp so amp.autocast and then you do the forward pass of the model and also calculate the loss and when when you're done with that you have to uh, do the backward function so in this one you have to just scalar dot scale loss and then backward and then the optimizer step so scalar dot step and optimizer and then you have to uh, update the scalar so scalar dot update so as you can see it's more straightforward and i think nvidia's apex is also similar so there's not much difference and now we can start to train this model one more thing that i forgot was to include a scalar here okay and now we can train the model again and see what happens so as you can see now the model is training and it's showing 18 minutes so previously it was 32 minutes now it's 18 minutes so things are quite good it seems and if i look at memory consumptions now it's 8 gigabytes so we reduce 2 gigabytes of memory and that's 
that's how uh, FP16 or mixed precision training helps you, automatic mixed precision, so it's not just FP16. And one more thing to remember that uh, in, in the training we used data parallel uh, in the original version. So if you're using data parallel, then you have to autocast the forward function. So what you can do is you can, you can import from torch.cuda import amp and then you can use you can use it in different ways so you can have the amp dot autocast um, decorator here or you can do with amp dot autocast so you can use this context and uh, put everything inside this context so but we are going for the decorator and once you're once you've done that you can use the model in the same way so it's it's uh, yeah it's not very difficult it's very simple and this is like uh, one of the optimizations you should always go for um it's going to make your training much faster provided your gpu supports mixed precision training which is pascal or more um yeah and um that's it for today's video and um, um, I hope you like it and subscribe my channel if you like it and do like click on the like button and share it with your friends. So this is all about automatic mixed precision in PyTorch 1.6 and uh, it won't work with PyTorch 1.5 so you have to go to the nightly version just remember that and if you have any comments write me in the comment section and I would be happy to take a look and reply if you have any queries. So thank you very much and see you next time. Goodbye.